What we're going to look at now is polygrouping inside of ZBrush. So polygrouping is a way to organize your model so that you're able to select certain areas by a group. If we go over here and we turn on line and fill, you're going to see that this model is one color. This is one polygroup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mask an area out and I'm going to give it a polygroup. You're going to notice that we have the option down here on the right hand side to go into polygroup. And we have here, we can mask, we can create polygroups by different actions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask this off inside here, pressing the control key. I'm going to just make my brush a bit bigger. I'm going to mask around this little object at the top here. I'm going to go to the side and I'm just going to carry on. I'm just going to mask this off very quickly. Now, if I wanted to isolate this little area or this little horn to make it a different polygroup, I can easily do that. If I just turn the polyframe on so you can see what happens. So I've got that mast. I'm going to go to polygroup on the right hand side and I'm going to go down to group masked. I'm going to click here and you're going to see now that the mask has inverted, but it's also given me two polygroups. So if I click the alt key now to un get rid of the mask and drag, you're going to see I've got two polygroups. This is really handy because I can isolate certain sections now. If I was working on this section, uh, I could just easily press the control and the shift key and click on here and it would just give me this section, which means I could work on this section and play around with it and not affect the rest of the model. So I can also press the control shift and I can click and it brings it back again. So I can press the control shift and click and just have this piece, which I can then play around with and not alter this because it's not visible. And if I press the control shift and drag, you're gonna see that it will swap between the tools. So control shift and drag will swap between visible and invisible polygroups. To get my polygroups all back again, press the control and shift and just click once. And polygroups are used a lot. They can be used for quickly masking areas. If I press the control shift and then I press the control key to mask and drag across this and then I press the control shift and click, you're gonna now see that the horn that I've got here is fully masked and protected. And I did that really quickly without having to redraw my masks because it is a polygroup. So using polygroups can be really quick for you to select certain areas, isolate certain areas, and create new subtools off of it. So polygroups are gonna be used a lot throughout my workshops. So understanding the basic principle at this stage is really important.